Hello everyone, Ali here from Language Academy and in this quick video, we're going to talk about the importance of answer short questions. Now this is not an extremely important task right off the bat, but when you think about it, when you are somebody who is stuck at 76, 77 or 78 in your listening module, but you are getting your score in all the rest of the modules, well then in that particular scenario, this task also becomes a very important one. So, this is the very last task of the speaking module, okay? And this task, of course, contributes towards two modules, listening and speaking. It contributes about seven out of 90 marks that go towards your listening. So that right there is huge. So look at it in this particular way. So you've got a total of 90 marks and you have to get 79 plus each. So you have got only a margin of like 11 marks, okay? So in that particular case, this particular task, which is answer short questions, this becomes very important, okay? And even if you're somebody who's not exactly aiming for, uh, say, 8 each, you still have to do good in your exam, right? You still have to get 65 plus each or 50 plus each. In those scenarios as well, each and everything has to go together in order to get you to your desired school. So, listening and speaking. So, these are the two modules which get the benefit out of this particular task. Now, what happens in this particular task, you are going to listen to an audio question, okay? And uh, the audio question that you're going to listen, listen to is going to be based on uh, the general knowledge. So, the question is going to be general knowledge based. For example, what is the name of red fluid or red liquid that flows inside of the human body? Of course, it's blood. How do you know that? Well, it's general knowledge basically. So uh, you get about uh, eight to 10 of these in the actual exam and uh, about seven to eight of those or even nine of those, they're actually very simplistic. They're not very difficult, but usually uh, two or three of those or uh, even sometimes just one or two of those, they're actually a bit more tricky. So for this simple task as well, you have to prepare, okay? You're supposed to give the computer one word answer, okay? So just saying one word, for example, blood would be fine, okay? For the question that I just gave you as an example. Now, to prepare this particular question, you can go to the uh, Language Academy website, okay? We've got all the questions which have been repeated previously in the actual exams, okay? So you'll be definitely getting the benefit. How to get the access to the Language Academy website? You can definitely call the uh, admin team, okay? And they'll let you know about that. You can find the number on our website as well. So just go to the website and you'll find all the information that you need, okay? Now, this is not an extremely, this is not one of the tasks which carries the most marks, okay? British wise, some tasks carry much more marks than others. This is not one of the tasks which carries most marks. So as a result, this is the task which sometimes uh, gets ignored by a lot of test agents. So we, we just thought that we should bring your attention to this particular task as well because it does not contribute a lot, but still it contributes exactly that much, okay? So you have to concentrate on this task as well. You have to make sure that this task is also going fine. Before you go for the exam, you need to make sure that you have prepared for answer short questions as well. And when you know that you've done your answer short questions in a good way, it also boosts your confidence for all the rest of the modules to come, okay? So definitely go to the website, have a look at all the answer short questions which are there on the Language Academy website. How to get the access? Just go to the Language Academy website and uh, you'll find all the details, okay? Thank you so much for watching this video and uh, we will talk to you again for such quick short video. Thank you very much.